Cheers guys, the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Really quick demo today. I built another feature into MCOM tools now that the mode switcher is working. And I have support now for vanilla packet digipeating so we can do things like uh, what I want to show you now. I have a distant willing station that's about 36 miles from my location. And it would be nice to be able to use something like the Boofwang radio here connected to the DigiRig light and Winlink on this computer. So five watts on this radio is not gonna make it 30 some odd miles north of me. But we can use the power of this guy here. And the other day I showed you a demo where we did this with APRF. So right now we are on 145.710. We're on this uh, build of MCOM tools, which is build 16. We are going to run the mode switcher real quickly here. So we have ET mode. We're gonna to go to, a, not APRS DigiPeter. We're gonna to go to Packet DigiPeter, and that's it. It's already running, that's the magic. Then on this system over here, we're gonna put this guy into WinLink Packet mode. And then we wanna make sure that we're also on the same frequency, so that's the two meter packet. All right, so we're in that mode, and then the bottom right here, in just a second, it should switch over to WinLink packet mode. We have WinLink fully launched with all of the services it needs. We'll go to Action Connect, and the one thing you'll notice here is that for the target, I have my DigiPeter KT7RUN-2. That is that station, and by convention, all I did was if you're in packet mode, um, for digipeating, it'll use the SSID of two. If you are in APRS digipeter mode, it'll use K or use a uh, dash four as the SSID. So let's go ahead and connect. So we should see now the Boofwang there light up. It's transmitting, sending packets, and it's over the air. The roof antenna over there is capturing it, and as you can see already, we're hitting that that station that's 30 miles north of me. So it says connected to Kilo 7 Yankee Charlie Alpha-8 via KT7RUN-2. That's all there is to it. Pretty neat to be able to do this. So this is a way of using the MCOM tools platform for very quick deployment of services where all you have to do is run three commands. ET user if you don't have your call sign, ET radio for your radio, and then the mode. That is it. Very cool stuff. I have no email. And then just to show you one more demo, similar to yesterday, we'll close this guy out. We'll go back over here and we'll switch the mode off of the standard DigiPeter uh, for packet and actually use a APRS. So we'll do mode and we'll do APRS DigiPeter. It's in that mode now. And we go to our radio, switch that to the packet frequency. And now let's go ahead here and check the weather. So we're gonna run ET mode again using the nerd window. And we just need to launch our APRS client. Should have switched over there in a second. And then at the bottom here for two, we will use the WXBOT SSID. For the, uh, the path, we'll do wide one and I'll put my call sign and if this makes it out, what it'll do is do a reverse lookup. We'll send send. The Boofwang should have transmitted that packet. I think it already did. The station over there should have received it. Retransmitted it. Station down in Phoenix may have picked it up. And if the demo gods are with us, we should get a pop-up at some point with the uh, weather details from WXBOT. I always hate the uh, dead air for this demos. It's kind of hard to do this here, but uh, really cool. We're waiting maybe for a packet response for that. Uh, just using the uh, DigiRig light, it's actually kind of nice. Uh, it's using the built-in Vox, even though the, the, the uh, UV5R has a Vox circuit as well, it's disabled for this use case here. And why the heck did that not go? WXBOT, KT7RUN. Let's do send one more time. Let's fire off that packet. Oh, see guys, I already screwed up. I did not change it to the APRS frequency. So we're gonna go ahead, put that on APRS. 
Now this should work. It was good that you guys saw that demo. One of the things, okay, we just keyed up there. Let's wait for a reply here. With the dumb radios like the Buford Wang there, you have to make sure that you set the VFO accordingly, otherwise you're screwed. And I can see there was a receive. And then we should now have our weather. Five miles east, southeast, New River, Arizona. Uh, tonight, clear, low 47. All right, quick and short, no edits. Uh, I'm flying so fast with this development. I just want to share it all with you guys. Again, the goal here is field expedient, rapid deployment, plug and play, no nerd stuff. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.